Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing my weekly wax melting basket. And this week I decided to do a little bit of a different um, take on my melting basket. And as I was organizing my wax last week, which took me an extremely long time, um, I saw a lot of wax in there that had just like a little bit left. So that's what I'm going to be doing is just wax that there's a little bit left. And I actually only took wax that had been partially used and was an ounce or less approximately. So anything that was in my collection that I thought was appropriate to melt, I pulled it. So let's get started. Um, I didn't sort any of this into which basket I wanted in yet. So we're gonna do it as I go. Let's see. Oh, I really love this one. Okay. So first is going to be Dreaming in Pink from Empire Alchemy. And this is Pink Sugar, Lavender, Shave Cream, and Immaculate Laundry. Dreaming in Pink is one of my favorite all-time scents from Empire Alchemy. It's just so, so good. There's nothing like it. And it, it's just incredible. Um, next is Ava's Country Covered in Fizzy Peach Tea, and this is a very strong, um, it smells kind of like peach rings with like, a uh, black tea or something. It's really good. Next I have Bum Bum from Ava's Country Covered. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm just like a huge Bum Bum fan, but I do want to finish that one up. Let's see what's this one. Yeah, we're going to have to do some like scientist blending like out here in the living room because there's not enough wax to actually put in like the same the same wax in like every warmer. So I'm gonna have to find things that like, kind of like go together or I think will smell nice together. So next is Empire Alchemy in Mad Alchemy. This is black tea, coffee, ice cream, lavender and shortbread cookies. Mm, this is very, very different. I can't wait to melt that one. I don't remember what it smells like on warm. We have Zape in Grinch Cookies. This is Sugar Cookies, Peppermint Candy, and Whoville Cheer. Like I said, these are all just like little tiny pieces of wax that like they just need to go. <laughs> that way I can make room for other stuff besides just basically like packaging and bags and stuff, you know. Next is Cake It Easy, which is blueberry and ice cream scoop bread. I remember this one just being so incredible. Um, so I have like one little cake bite left. Let me pull this out because it's just so cute. If you see Bridget offer this one again, it's really good if you like blueberry scents. And her wax is so soft, it's melting in my fingers right now. Okay. Uh, like we have like little tiny pieces in here like this is ridiculous like look at this little piece This is from sassy wax melts and the scent is in jolly good Which was twisted peppermint vanilla butter fudge and vanilla frosting something like this will probably just like go in the bathroom But I don't even know if that that like if it'll throw it's such a small piece Oh look we have another peach tea so that'll be good to put those two together this is peach tea from Souls Inspiration. This is juicy peaches and fresh brewed tea. This one was absolutely lovely also. Mmm, this one's especially peach rings. That one's really good, really fruity. I'll put that one in the bedroom. Oh, you guys, this is one of my favorites. And I have, a, I have a, um, another souffle of it. This is Uptown Girl from The Melted Moose. And this is pink chiffon, clean cotton, and a touch of blackberry. You guys, this is like so bright and fresh and just so pretty. I love that blackberry in there. Adds that touch of sweetness. What else do we have? Maybe we'll melt this one with the other Sassy Wax one. This is like a mint scent as well. This is peppermint bark, cool peppermint, creamy white chocolate, and a sweet of marshmallow fluff. So those two will go really, really good together. Um, I love my minty scents, so we'll have to have a minty day here in the house. In the bedroom. This is Birdie's Making Scents in Nurses Call the Shots. Pink Sugar, Love Spell, and Vanilla Smoothie. This one was very soft. Yeah, very soft. You get a hint of pink sugar with like a vanilla background. And this, my warmer is currently off because the fan is so loud and I don't want to like, you know, 
disturb you guys in the video with the background noise. What's this one? Oh yeah, this one's definitely going like in the bathroom. This is Winter Linen from Savannah Blue. This is Bergamot, Orange Blossom, Fresh Linen, Jasmine, and Cashmere. It smells really good, but it's a very strong, fresh, clean scent. Almost like, I mean, it is laundry. Very heavy laundry. And let's do... Ooh, this one's one of my favorites from Savannah Blue, and this is Amelia Island. This is lemongrass, cotton candy, and salty sea air. This blend is absolutely incredible. I love the way that smells. It's so good. I would get a loaf of that if she offered it, or if somebody sees it, let me know. Well, this bag looks rough. <laughs> this is from Rose Girls in Campfire Marshmallows, Saltwater Taffy, and Cup of Cake. This one's really, really good. I absolutely loved this one. Oh, it's so good. It's like a yellow cake, but with this like sticky, like, I don't know, sweet note. It's like slightly smoky, but not like super overwhelmingly smoky. Um, we have a vanilla ice cream from the Bunny Sisters. And this is just like a very, very plain vanilla scent. It actually smells like it's kind of like taken on a minty scent from whatever it's been sitting next to. Um, this one's really yummy. This is Howl About It from um, Woof Wix, and it's sugar cookie, vanilla bean noel, and pie crust. This one will be really good out here in the in the um, kitchen. Mmm, yeah, that one's so good. Can't believe I haven't pulled Woof Wix in a hot minute, so they will be on my next to-do list. Another Woof Wix in Lenny's Apple Bread, and just like half a little shot cup. Yeah, this one's okay. I don't really, it doesn't smell like super fragrant to me, which is probably why I didn't use it all. Um, but it needs to, it needs to get out of here. <laughs> this is Cemetery Keys from the Bathing Garden in this cute like little rose bar. This one reminds me of gummy worms, like dead on gummy worm candy. It's so fruity, but I know that's not the note in there. It's like something different. It's something, something weird. Okay, we have Rose Girls in Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I know it's a little bit out of season, but I think that the um, marshmallow and the cupcakes at Tiffany's will help round it out so it's not going to be like too pumpkin-y. Feeling naughty from Rose Girls. I don't know what this scent is, to be honest. I don't know. <laughs> Um, oh, this one, ooh, these are good. Okay, this one's a little bit more than an ounce, but that's okay. Um, so this one is L3's Pistachio Macaroon Butter Brickle Powder Donuts. It's a little bit over an ounce, but this one smells really good. A really nice, sweet, like non-offensive bakery. And the pistachio is not super strong in that. It's really lovely. This is L3 Waxy Wonders Cotton Candy Strawberry Raspberry Guava Vanilla Lace. I actually haven't tried this one yet, but this is a piece of a loaf that my friend Danny sent me. So I thought that would be a really good time to try that. Gives me options. This is one of my favorites. This is from To The Moon and Back Creations. This is Captain Fruity Marshmallow Treats, which is Fruity Pebbles, a Captain Crunch, and Marshmallow Cream. You guys, this is my favorite all-time um, cereal blend. It is so good. I don't know how to describe it besides just telling you to try it because it's that amazing. And it throws, like, incredibly well. I put that in my bedroom last time, and it came all the way out into the living room. It was insane. This, I just have, like, a small, like, little piece left in here from Southbound. This is Marshmallow Milkshake that my friend Veronica sent me. This is Marshmallow Balm, or Balm and Cool Creamy Vanilla Milkshakes. This one was not my favorite. But, like I said, there's just a small piece in here, so I'll probably mix it maybe with something like minty. Look, this is all that's left in there. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of, kind of, like, mediocre. It's not a scent that I would get by itself again, maybe mixed with something. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Um, let's pull... This one, this one, this one, and this one. Okay. 
We have up north in Coffee Bean, which is fresh beans and coffee goodness. Um, this is not my favorite coffee scent. It's pretty good, but it smells like there's like a lot of sugar or cream in there or something. And then um, I'll probably mix it with this one, Toasted Marshmallow, which is creamy marshmallow blend with vanilla bean. I do like her Toasted Marshmallow. It's a really nice um, creamy scent. So we got those to put in there. We have Wandering in Wonderland Animal Cracker Macaroons. This is Animal Crackers, Almond Cookies, Cotton Candy, Frosting, and Fruity Pebbles. I think I ran a mac of chitinous the majority of this out, so there's like a macaroon left in here. It was from a loaf, so we will put that one somewhere. I'm hoping I can get through all of this, you guys. Um, I feel like it's not that much because I'm going to have to like mix and match scents, you know. This is from Waxidents. This is a custom blend that I made. This is Mrs. Claus Cookies, Vanilla Pinecone, and Butter Brickle. Let me see if I get the pinecone in. Mm, maybe a hint of it, but it's really good. That one's really, I like the way that one turned out. Um, let's see. If there's any more. I'll probably put this one out here. Yeah, I'll put this one out here and this one. Let me just make sure. Yeah, there might be some in here. Okay. There's not going to be a lot for the bedroom, but that's okay. We can get through it all. That'll be the main point here. We have Pink Toasted Marshmallow from Beezy's. Um, this one was okay, but like it's a very kind of like boring scent by itself, so I'm definitely going to mix that with something. Um, we have Centennial Chic Scents in Mountain Cookie. This one was amazing. But look, I just have like a quarter of that shot <laughs> cup left so not much but I have some other kind of like similar scents in here that I can like also put in there sweet winter cake from the bunny sisters it was this one like a it smells kind of like just like a vanilla cake but there's like maybe a berry note or something in there can't quite remember and then we're gonna have a couple more rose girls let's see I don't even know if I'm gonna like these you guys Ugh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not even going to like these, but that's okay. Um, I have one cube left of lemon poppy seed cake. I could give this to somebody, but it's just one cube. I'll try it again. Um, we have Monster Cookie Fluff Puffs. I think I'll really enjoy actually melting this one. Mmm, that one's so yummy. Definitely a really good bakery vanilla scent. And then two that I'm just not excited to melt, but if I don't melt them, then I am going to, I guess, send them to a friend. This is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. This is just not my, this is just not my jam. Mm -mm. I don't know why. I just don't vibe with that one, and I also don't vibe with Strawberry Jam from Rose Girls. Well, actually, Strawberry Jam, pretty much from any any vendor. So that is my melting basket for the kitchen living room area. And let me go grab the other basket to show you what I'm going to put in the bedroom. And you guys, I just want to say that of course I have more wax than this. Um, that's less than an ounce, but I did not want to include samples. I think I might do samples like an entirely different basket, just like just samples for that week because you guys, I don't know about you, but the amount of samples I have accumulated in just, what's it been, like six or eight months is insane. <laughs> so I definitely need to work through those as well. So if you want to see that to be, if you want that to be next week's basket, let me know. It's going to be coming up soon. I just haven't decided like if I want to do that quite yet. Um, I have so much um, great new wax that I'm getting in that I just really want to melt as well. And it's not in any of these baskets for this week. So, yeah. Okay, let's get started on this one. I really enjoyed this from from Birdies. This is Lemon Curd Lavender Coconut Cream Pie. I melted this last week, and I just had this little piece left. So, she's going in. I love this lavender coconut milk from Beezy's. This is just ugh, pure perfection. have half a, a shot cup here left, so about an ounce. Oh, it's so, so good. I highly recommend that one. And I really like to um, mix it with his cotton candy frosting. So these two together are going to be incredible. Actually, you really can't wait to melt those. 
We have L3 Roxy Wonders Moonlight Serenade, and this is Pink Sugar, Sweet Lavender, Strawberry Fluff Smoothies. Last time I melted this, I did not get any strawberry. Let's open this. Yeah, I'm mostly just getting a sweet lavender. I'm really not picking up on any of the other notes in there, which I love lavender, but it's just kind of like me. It's not what I thought it would be. We have part of a souffle left from L3 in Flower Bomb type. Um, this is similar to Flower Bomb, but I wouldn't say it's dead on. It's, it's, it's actually, I think, maybe it's like 50% Flower Bomb and then 50% something else. <laughs> Oh, I really liked this one, so I'm excited to melt the rest of this. This is Lucy and Ricky Ricardo from Bodies Harmony. This is Cuban Tobacco Vanilla Champagne and Vanilla Bean Noel. That vanilla champagne was just, oh, absolutely beautiful. It's like so bright and zesty with a little hint of tobacco. Um, it's not overwhelming. It's just sweet and delicious and yummy. Love that one. We have Bruce from Ava's Country Covered. I want to say this was like a, it smells kind of floral, but maybe mixed with like some salty sea air or something along that lines. Just a really nice fresh scent. We have Scented Spells, whom I've never tried, in Sleeping Spell. I'm assuming this has Love Spell in it. This is from my friend Danny, so I obviously haven't tried this one yet, so... A little bit of an exception to the rule, but I feel like it also has maybe like a lavender note in there. I feel like that one I'm really going to end up liking. We have Smoked Ginger and a Woolen Blanket from um, Rose Girls. This one's okay. I'm not really sure what to think of it yet. I probably wouldn't pick it up again, but well, let's melt it again and see what we think. We have Birdie's Making Sense in Sweetheart. This is Strawberry Pound Cake, Birthday Cake, and Cotton Candy Frosting. This one was really, really good. Um, a very sweet, sweet scent, but I love her strawberries. It's strawberry scents, they're really good. There's a dog hair. <laughs> we have Savannah Blue in Calming Dreams. This is Violets, Lavender, Peppermint, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And it's about like half a tile left. Just a really good calming nighttime blend. I need to pick up more Savannah Blue. I know she just had like something, was it leftovers from a pre-order maybe, but I didn't get in on it quick enough, so that's my fault. <laughs> this is L3 Waxy Wonders in Hatchet. This is actually like part of a pumpkin um, shape. So this is black tea, flannel, fresh picked blackberries. And this is very fresh and kind of like juicy. But mixed with the flannel kind of gives it like a different, I don't know, different hint to it. We have coconut leaves from my friend Angie. She sent this to me. This is from That Smell Good Shop. Coconut, exotic fruits, and vanilla musk. I just have two little cubes left, so um, perfect time to finish that guy up. Um, another one that my friend Danny sent me. This is L3 Waxy Wonders, My Hero Academia. And I don't remember the scent notes on this. It smells like strawberry pound cake mixed with something. So we will give that one a whirl. Actually, that one might be do might do better in the kitchen. This is pink tinsel from Ava's Country Cupboard. This smells like mint and maybe like pink sugar, like a buttermint. We have Pink Chiffon from That Smell Good Shop in Wildberries, Coconut Vanilla, and Pink Petals. This one was pretty soft um, when it perf... I don't know. Let's see. Let me smell this again. This smells different. Hold on. I think it took on the scent of something else. It smells kind of minty. But yeah, it's supposed to be the Bath & Body Works Pink Chiffon. We have... Look, look at this little bit that I saved. <laughs> This is Goodnight Moon from Savannah Blue, and this is Lavender and Spearmint Fizz, but I really loved this scent. Oh, it's so good and so different. Man, I need to make a custom similar to this. That one's beautiful. We have Winter Snooze from L3 Waxy Wonders. This is Icy Peppermint, Herbal Lavender, and Chamomile. This will be a great nighttime scent. Mmm, very minty. Ooh, I'm going to love that. Ooh, I want to melt it right now. Hmm. I did just change the wax, though, in the bedroom, so 
We're going to have to wait until this afternoon to do anything new. We have Aries from that Smell Good Shop. This is Mint, Vanilla Bean, and Rosemary. This is one of the best mint scents that I probably smelled. Like, this is my top five. Um, unfortunately, this is like a limited release, so... I couldn't get my hands on it again. <laughs> I did try to make a custom blend that was similar to it, but it didn't turn out right, so... We have Sugared Lavender from that Smell Good Shop, and this is a really, really nice, sweet, sweet lavender. It's beautiful. Highly recommend that if you want a sweet, non-herbal lavender. We have Simo in Pink Sugar Candy Cane. Mm, yeah, just a really nice pink sugar candy cane scent. I like that. We have Twisted Peppermint from Up North Creations in just like these three little cubes left here. Probably 7.75 ounces. Peppermint with creamy vanilla and sugary musk. I did enjoy her Twisted Peppermint. This was really good. So I'm excited to try that again. I got a lot of um, mint scents that I can start playing and blending with. We have Shy Guy from Rose Girls. This is Spearmint, Pine, and Shaving Cream. Just a really like creamy, masculine, minty scent. Love that. Okay, just a few more. We have a Free Elf from To The Moon and Back Creations. This is Island Fresh Game and Tea and Cakes. I did end up repurchasing this one, but I still have some left from this sample here. And this is the one of the best laundry blends that I've smelled. The Tea and Cakes adds this like syrupy sweetness to the laundry. It's so good and it's so different. Really love that. Midnight Daydream Wax in Rosebud Bakery. This is Strawberry Jam Cake, Rose Petals, and Angel Food Cake. And I just have like a third or yeah, about a third left of that one. So he just needs to go. <laughs> And two more. Um, this one is from K Scented Melt, from, and it's Enter Sandman. Really enjoyed this one. This is like a lavender minty nighttime blend, so that'll be perfect. And then last is Capri Blue from Up North Creations, which is tropical fruits, sugared oranges, lemons, and limes. And I have half of a shot cup here. Hmm. It's very light. Is this smell orangey? Mmm. Hopefully it doesn't smell orangey. I'm going to have to take that right out if it is. We shall see. All right, guys. That is all that I have for my melting baskets this week. So it was kind of fun pulling, like, all the stuff out of my baskets that were just kind of, like, taking up space. And I just hope I can get through the majority of this. And I will definitely let you guys know what I'm melting over on my Instagram, which is Wax Melts BFF. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a beautiful start to your week, and happy Monday. We'll talk again soon.